So, I welcome you to this demonstration session. Uh, this demonstration is based on the topic on event handling demo, event handling mechanism in Java, which we have covered in the last module uh, under a, uh, AWT programming part 3. Now, we know exactly what is uh, an event handling concept it is there and in our theoretical class also we have discussed about few examples like scribble 1, the scribble 2 and then the mouse listener example and also we have demo, uh, you have explained how the keyboard events can be handled and then finally, we have given an idea about the calculator. So, in this demonstration we will again repeat the same thing, but in detail manner so that you can understand how the event handling activities are carried out. So, let us have the first uh, demonstration uh, this is regarding the design of a scribble applet as you know scribble applet basically gives a user to do something on the applet or I mean on the component container itself either on the frame or it is on the applet. Now, this scribble applet uh, scribble example that we are going to discuss is basically applet version. So, first we want to extend this program as an applet class and then we add uh, the event uh, listen, uh, event uh, and we have to register the event uh, handler routine uh, namely uh, in this uh, uh, example basically related to the mouse event handling. So, we have to add or we have to register two listener namely mouse listener and mouse uh, motion listener and then we have to define implement the event handling method. So, in this case uh, the method which are very important are the mouse paste method and then mouse um, dragged method. Now, these two methods are defined in the interface uh, mouse listener and then mouse motion listener interface. So, we have to implement it here. Now, we will implement there are some other methods also those are there in these interfaces namely mouse clicked, mouse moved, mouse pressed mouse exi exited and then mouse released oh sorry mouse pressed is already you have implemented. So, mouse clicked, mouse moved, mouse entered, mouse exited, mouse released all these things. So, those interfaces can be also implemented we will just give an idea how, how the uh, such a interface method can be implemented. Now, let us see the program here as we have displayed uh, here and uh, this program as we see this is the init method this init method is very important in case of applet the init method is come into the picture in case of other uh, AWT based programming there, there is no init method, but in the class where we are implementing in that class itself we can add. So, we just add I, I this is a part of the registration as you know the first step of inner handling. So, we just add mouse listener and then add mouse motion listener this is the syntax that you have to follow here this means is basically for the current thread and and here we just uh, define the mouse pressed e that that is the event handling mechanism here. So, mouse pressed and is the mouse event e means event as we have already mentioned that whenever an event occur related to the mouse event or whatever it is there the automatically the AWT will generate an event object. So, in this case if a user pressed a mouse button then automatically the event E will be generated. So, if this is the event then from this event we can extract many information for example, for this event dot get x it basically tell what is the x coordinates of the mouse click position similarly E dot get y gives the y coordinates of the mouse click position. So, these two positions we usually store because we have to draw the scribble that means, whenever user draw by dragging the mouse it will be displayed on the area of the applet. Now, so this is the mouse press it is very simple in this mouse press even we have to just record what is the current location where the mouse has been pressed and then another method that we are we have implemented here mouse dragged that means, if we press it and then uh, just move the mouse then it is basically called the mouse drag event and in this event what we are doing is basically we draw straight line from the last position to the current position and incrementally if all the positions are like this drawn uh, then a straight a line according to the point or tracking of the mouse will be displayed on the screen. 
So, this is the two method that we have implemented here and the other methods namely mouse clicked, mouse, uh, mouse moved, mouse entered, mouse exited and then mouse released can also be defined. In this case we have not defined anything explicitly, they are implicit uh, things are there that means, if any event occur related to this activities there will be no action taken actually, because as we have not done anything here or even if it is done also no event can be caught and as a result no action will be initiated. Okay, so, this is the example the scribble one. Now, let us see the output and then we will come back to the example again we will do certain modification. So, that you can understand impact of that modification. I am just a little bit increasing the size of the applet, so that we can view little bit yeah. So, this is basically the scribble applet and at the moment we do not have any event. Now, I am just going to drag the mouse and as we drag it as you see line will be drawn like and drag not necessarily any order you can draw here whatever it is there. <coughs> Yeah, so, we can see using this scribble applet we are able to I mean by means of mouse drag event handling we are able to draw any things there any curvy line also we can draw and we can take it whatever it is there that is all. So, this is the idea about uh, the scribble one version one we can say now I am coming back to the problem again and here is the one event say suppose mouse clicked and as there is no action it has been implemented. So, it is not doing anything in the same applet also if we click nothing will takes place because there is no event handling routine is there. Now, I am just okay adding in this mouse event handling routine a simple code like show status as you know show status method will basically print something whatever it is happen here. Now, in the mouse click option I just use the show status method and then we just message mouse click. So, what will happen is if we just click it and automatically in the status of the applet viewer it will basically display that mouse has been clicked. Now, here you can note it here ok. So, uh, they are actually mouse clicked it is there because we have clicked it and then if we drag it you can see no action will be there ok and then clicked ok. So, initially as you see there is no action. So, just it is applet started and then whenever it is clicked is there then ok. So, it is basically no mouse clicked event is there. Now, if we clicked it then we can see now it is showing the mouse uh, has been clicked like. So, this is the idea about and then mouse move is different from the mouse drag in the sense that if we clicked and then just simply move without dragging that is a mouse um, uh, moved actually and then mouse exited also just opposite to the click that means, you just releasing these are the things are there. So, if, if, if we write some code here and accordingly that code whenever that event will occur it can uh, be uh, okay generated and then we can show it. So, it is left as an exercise you can write some code and then for every event that it may takes place in this context you can see the corresponding output. So, you can use a g drawsting uh, method to display corresponding to each event handling mechanism event handling routine uh, whatever we have mentioned here. Now, this is the scribble one which basically extends an applet so, scribble applet there is another example also same uh, scribble applet, but using the lower version uh, of the JDK toolkit where actually there are different methods are uh, where there uh, those are defined there namely um, action uh, action method that mouse drag method mouse down method namely. So, those methods are deprecated now uh, now we have. Uh, uh, new methods as we have discussed here. Now, this is basically based on the old one just for a simple favor of how the event handling routine can be written in a program and that can be handled by Java system runtime manager. So, in this example as we see little bit is ok advanced example we can say it has 
other than this scribbling only it also has the uh, two more options namely cleaning that means it will basically clear whatever the portion that you have scribbled so far and then another option is that choosing the color. So, okay, we can, if we see the applet first then you can see exactly how the applet will look like and then you can understand the code that has basically has planned to implement this kind of applets. So, let us have a quick view of this applet here. Yeah, as you see here this is an applet window in this applet window you see two buttons here is the one clear, clear and another is the button is called the uh, color. Okay. Now, currently color is default as black. Now, if we draw something just a scribbling we see something it is there exactly it is black. Now, if we change the color. So, you just take the, the choice item you see and in the choice box we can select some color say red and it is showing that red is there. Now, if we select the okay, fine another color right you can see the different color. Now, if you see the clear button then whatever the things that you have drawn it will basically repaint. So, repaint everything with the previous background. So, it clean it. Now, this is the applet. Now, let us see how we have designed this applet, what are the means methods that we have used it here and in this program as we see uh, we have declared two components namely button clear button and then color choices as the choice button choice component. These two buttons uh, these two components have been declared and in the init method as we see we have just decide the background of this applet is as white and then we create the clear button with a label clear and then uh, clear button the foreground and background has been decided as a black and then light gray as you can see the background the button appears with uh, font as the uh, font as the black and then background of the button as the light gray and then we add this button into the the applet uh, screen. So, the add method is called for that and similarly the color choices we have included several color like black, red, yellow and green and then color choice items has been created and they have been added into the add item like. So, these are choice uh, list is created and finally, we decide we set the foreground of this uh, color choice as black and then background is a light color. So, you can see the both button and then choice uh, component looks very similar in the sense of color uh, settings and others and then we decide uh, we add one label as a color to indicate that this choice is basically to relate to the color only. So, a label has been added side by side this one and we add all these things into the applet. Now, so this is so far the applet design is concerned as a now. So, if we do it do not uh, you, you include any event handling mechanism the applet will appear it is like this there. Now, we have to implement the listener method here. Now, here we first implement the mouse down, mouse down method is same as the previously described mouse the mouse uh, pressed method that is discussed in the scribble 1 and the mouse drag is also very similar to the mouse drag method that we have discussed in the scribble 2. So, we do not want to discuss it explicitly and next another is that action event that we have to write it is basically handling the whatever any event occurs. So, event event is basically any object of type event if it is created and object arc is basically tell about which is the event actually we have called it there. Now, if event dot targets that means, if we click say button. So, that is a event dot target is a clear button then it basically uh, clean uh, the repaint uh, the entire uh, what is called uh, the plate area. So, that is why set color fill rate by that uh, default color is been set. Now, if event dot target is color choice. So, this is basically the action event is related to the choice selection actually. So, if the event dot target is equals to color choice and then it will basically what it will do depending on arcs basically if it is black then it will set color color black and the otherwise whatever the different color will be choice according to the color will be set and it will return this action to the uh, color actually. So, this is the way by which the three actions related to the mouse handling the mouse down and then mouse drag and then another two actions related to the 
uh, clicking on the button or clicking on the choice. So, action handling written has been uh, designed and as you have already shown the, uh, obtained the output that it will show the output this one. So, my advice again is that you can try this program with your own settings and then run of your own and then change whatever you want to do and let us see what is the effect of the change that you can get it. So, change in the sense that if you change in the method it will basically reflect it automatically. Okay, so, this is the uh, scribble 2 and then our next example is uh, mouse listener it is very simple example it is very simple rather very trivial example we should say. So, there are different mouse uh, uh, mouse uh, event actually like say mouse clicked, mouse enter, mouse exited, mouse press, mouse release some fe features we have already familiar uh, we have already experienced in scribble 1 applet. Here again we have to do it we will just uh, do what exactly the thing is that if some event occur uh, we use the show status method to show this here actually we do not in, instead of this one a level uh, will be there and uh, for this level the text will be changed according to the event that it occurs. So, the accordingly the code it is here so, as you know it is basically the uh, AWT program without any applet. So, it is extends a frame. So, whatever the things it will be components and other things it basically uh, will be will be included in the frame itself and uh, it includes mouse listener. So, mouse listener method uh, interface are to be here and then we first do the registration by add mouse listener this and then we decide the level on uh, the component we display this uh, component and then finally, we write the event handling method namely mouse clicked here simply setting the text for the level whenever the text is basically related to the particular event like loop. So, this is the one example very simple example as you can understand it I hope and now here is the output you can see let us uh, resize the window so that you can see, see it little, yeah. So, now here as you see here. So, if we clicked then you can see the level will be uh, mouse uh, pressed like and if we uh, add uh, if we uh, uh, mouse released also you can see the mouse released will be there and so mouse play pressed mouse released mouse click all these messages are coming because I am here uh, controlling I am pressing clicking releasing all these kind of things are doing as a result you can see the display is also changing. So, this is the example related to the mouse event handling. Now, I, I think it is time to discuss about uh, key hand, key event handling uh, for an example and this is a very simple example here. Uh, the, so, whenever there is a key event occur all the key event can be categorized into either key pressed, key released or key typed. So, there are three events. So, if we can de uh, define these three events handling routine in our program, so it is enough and all the other things that we have to add the uh, we have to do registration the listener object. So, in this case we have to add key listener add key listener is the listener uh, here in this case the listener will be watchful to see if any event occurs at any instant and then also one thing we have to use it called the request focus that means, uh, the, the AWT should uh, instruct the runtime manager to request focus for the keyboard. Uh, entry if any. So, this is the thing and in this case uh, the definition of is the method key press key released and then key type a simple method show status method has been called for it and then it will basically uh, display the status at the status bar like. So, if we and this is also again another applet program. So, that is why show status is uh, accessible to us as uh, by means of extending it. So, it is a very simple show status method we are calling it here and as you see here. Okay. So, initially as we see show status applet started. So, there is no event occur. Now, I am just okay going to keep key priest uh, as a key priest as you see uh, the key up or key down key release all those things are coming here. Okay. So, it is there and if we write something yeah key up key down I can actually whenever the key event occurs there are two method always key up and key down because you usually key press and then key down it is like this. So, key up key down automatically uh, side by side actually and then uh, then key typed also if you see if we type some character that character will be displayed on the front area here for example, we are typing like NPTEL sort of thing as it is coming here on this applet screen. 
So, you ca I hope that okay, although it is a very simple example, trivial example, but only for the sake of illustration and then demonstration, I hope it is understandable. Now, we will discuss about another. See, there are three different type of keys that is possible and if we types any function key or some control, alter, shift and everything corresponding to this, there will be no character should be displayed because they do not have any character assigned for that. On the other hand, a to z and some numeric characters they have been assigned. So, if we type it, they are corresponding key type and then for that key type the event will be occur that means, we will be able to read from the event that it happens and then from this event what is the character that it has been typed can be obtained. Similarly, what are the function keys or, or the control or other keys has been obtained that can be also understood from the event itself that is happens there. Now, for this event class has defined many uh, variables many constants actually. So, we can read all those values and then according we can understand that which keys has been pressed by the user. So, this example illustrate the fact that there are different type of key can be pressed and according to this the different output can be obtained uh, through uh, extracting the event that it has caught by the program. So, this example as we see key event dot v k underscore f 1 that means, if the function 1 key is pressed that means, event is related to this one then it will just give a print that function 1 is there and like this function 1 function 2 function 3 page up page down page up all the keys those are not having as key code returnable. On the other hand if we type some other characters key then you will also type it and then it will display this one accordingly our key typed event method needs to be modified. Here we have done it key released so status actually key up and then key typed it basically type the whatever the character that we have typed get key character from the event that is had happened corresponding to this type key we can get it and just to go on appending and that message can be displayed on the uh, area the applet area and it basically that string that message string can be displayed by means of paint method it is there. So, this is the example now have the demo so that you can see how this program works here. Yeah. So, as you see here, uh, so this is the applet has started right now, no event initiated right. Now, I am going to type f 1. So, if we press f 1 as you see this one similarly f 2 and then f 3 and so on. So, you can see now I am typing a capital A as you see typing capital A it will sense it and then it also displayed there and whatever the type character is there. So, 0, 1, 2, 3 also we can see it is also going to sense it. So, it is basically the event is that we are pressing some keys whatever is the function or whatever is the character or numeric key whatever it is there. So, this is the event that is the source is the key and then event handling methods and read it and then they can take the action the here action is basically printing the same text on the applet screen here. So, this is related to the key event and here let us have little bit okay, uh, complex examples here actually we want to give that example related to how the button can be manipulated button can be handled. But this program in addition to button there are few more items are there first let us have the look of this applet then I can come back to this program. So, that you can understand exactly what are the concepts are here it is followed. Yeah, as you see here a little bit okay, much more components are involved what are the components first of all the frame it is and frame contains one panel which is colored as a yellow and you see in the frame also we include uh, some uh, text uh, area the, what is called the control in action and then button this is basically the uh, label we can say and so this display the label, label is included in the frame and uh, okay fine and in addition to these there are three buttons as we have seen uh, that ok button and then another is uh, submit and then cancel. So, that is all. So, if we click ok as we see uh, that uh, ok. So, output will be displayed by means of another level and that ok button clicked and similarly if we cancel then we can see another uh, other cancel button clicked. So, you can understand so, how the events are handled here we are clicking a particular button corresponding to this button a particular display message appears on the frame itself 
and this is the program we have implemented in this applet here as you see uh, we declare as you see here we declare the frame level panel whatever the things it is there and they have been initiated and size and everything has been precise for example, it is for the frame and it is for the level and it is for the panel and everything that we have discussed and then as you have already have an idea about how to configure a panel, how to configure a field a frame and whatever the everything are there, their set layout pattern and everything all these things are there. So, if you go through with your own time you will be able to follow it clearly. I will better come to the event that we have increases there. So, here we have declared one method of our own called the show event demo and in this method we just uh, just assign uh, the add set action command set action command set action listener and then action listener for the uh, different buttons and different uh, different buttons mainly. So, here for example, ok button and then submit button and cancel button for all these buttons we define the different methods that it can handle actually and this basically the registration uh, task and then control panel just add the different buttons on it. So, ok button submit button and cancel button and if, uh, finally, the frame is now set as visible and then button click listener is basically the method which we have planned to listen to the button click this is the main class in this case actually and in this method as you see we have defined action perform this is the main method that needs to be uh, re defined by us and then so that the according to that what will be the text will be there. So, if we press this one ok button click then it is a status level dot set text will change at the this one the, that is this button is click like this. So, this is the program it is basically event handling. So, again the you if you run the program of your own then only you will be able to understand much more things in details. So, this may be only 10 percent of your learning, but you have to run it of your own and then see exactly how the things are coming. If you change something and then you have to see exactly whether the change that you have done according to your own wish or not. So, this is the idea about this one and this example as we see here. Uh, Okay. So, now, so another example that we are going to discuss about uh, it is another simple example this example related to the text field in addition to button. So, here basically two text field area it we can say it is a simple calculator the calculator will have only add and uh, subtract uh, methods uh, the two buttons add and subtract and the two text field as we see one the, these two text field for taking any input. So, it is also event can be added into that text field area. Now, we will see that how the event can be added into the text field area and then the third text field is basically show the result. So, if I type say 10 in the first text field and then 15 in the second text field and then if we type plus and you can see the result will be 25. If we say again minus as you see the result will be changed to this one. So, this way there is a simple calculator look like but this can be extended to have write your I mean much more complex calculator actually. Now, here you see what we have done first we have to create the three text field that we have done here T F 1, T F 2 and T F 3 and use all the routine that we have already learned about it how to create a text field, how to size of the text field can be created what is the everything that we have done here. So, just first few lines is basically related to how we can create uh, three text field and then, then we have decided the two button how the two button can be defined. So, here we have declared the two button B 1 and B 2 namely B 1 is for plus and B 2 is for minus and then we have to add the action listener as a registration. So, B 1 dot add action listener B 2 dot add action listener. So, if any action hap if anything happen to this button. So, this action listener will listen to that and accordingly the routine that we have to develop is basically in the next. Uh, method action perform in the action perform as you see we read S 1 and S 2 the two string from the two text field and then they needs to be converted in integer we have done it as A by means of integer dot parse in method and then we have to take about event if the event is E related to the clicking a button. So, E dot get source and if it is a B 1 so it basically add the result and otherwise we just add the um, uh, subtract from a to b a minus b like and finally, we display the result converting into the st string 
and then we display the result onto the text full third text field. So, this is the idea about it. Now, I just want to add it. So, suppose I want to add one more button and you will see how the things can work for you. So, one more button namely say for multiplication I just add one more button here. Yes, I am adding one more button that is all. So, multiplication and then in the action performed routine I have to change it because we have plus button. So, if the plus button is there. So, another if else part we can add another else part. So, else if e dot get source is equals to equals to b 3 then action that will be performed is c equals to a star b and then if just compile this and then you will see how the change in the applet will be and uh, like this. Okay. So, now we can see the applet here. Yeah. So, applet has been changed as you can see if any value you can add in the two text field plus minus and then star as you see the result is coming. So, this is the way that okay, uh, we can add components at the same time for each component we can register the listener objects and then according to for each uh, uh, component we can decide what are the event handling routine that needs to be associated with each component and that is all so far the event handling is concerned. Now, I will quickly come to the swing and then we have uh, right idea about the swing actually um, and this is the calculator that we can use using the swing here. The swing calculator uh, we have discussed in our theoretical class. So, it is basically the same thing we have done it. Now, if we run it uh, then we can see how the swing calculator look like. Yeah, so here is the swing calculator is a typical look here as you see here. Now, in this swing calculator as we see 0, 2, 9, 10 keys are there 10 buttons rather they are level as 0, 1, 2, 2, 9 only. So, basically all these buttons are to uh, allow user to type 0 to 9 any num integers and then the user using this button can type any numbers for example, 2, 5 like this. And then there are some operation button like plus, minus, then multiplication, then subtraction and some buttons like clear, C and finally, there is another button equals. So, if we write 2, 5 and then plus, then 3, 3, 0 then and then equals then you can understand what the result it will see. And then if we again click key C then uh, it is basically clean it is there. Anyway, so this is the part of this applet calculator as we see here. So, here basically idea about designing this calculator I just preview it is the program you can have it and then you can check the program of your own according to your own convenient time then you can understand much more about it. I just want to see the methodology or the steps that you should follow in the first step whether it is an applet or frame you decide accordingly the things will be there. In this case we have used the frame. So, this is not an applet and then we have to decide the frame and then we have to I mean create one panel usually uh, it is customized to include all the components inside a panel. So, that it can be more better configurable. So, you have to clear a panel also and this panel includes so many keys are there 0, 1, 2 all these things button actually they are. So, here actually 17 buttons as we see 16 including operations and one the last one is equal. So, those buttons have been declared and then finally, all the action listener is uh, to be registered here. In this case the action listener is basically mouse key as we see. Uh, so, mouse clicking actually we are we are entering the number not from the keyboard rather we are entering number from the keys on the calculator. So, the mouse click is required here. So, the method that we have to add it basically the mouse key mouse listener uh, to be add mouse listener is the method that needs to be added here. And then once it is there for every key board we have to add the action listener and then action listener method is uh, defined accordingly. So, that it will basically listen that what is the type that the user has uh, I mean keyed rather and then accordingly uh, it will uh, do the uh, results whether it is a depending on plus button or minus button or multiplication button or uh, division button is the operation will be carried out. 
So, this is the right code, code for action handling as if you can see later on you will see that a little bit optimized code it is used here, but you can write the codes according to your own understanding and add it there. So, I do not want to say that okay, you have to follow this code, you may understand this code very easily or you can find it little bit difficult to understand, but anyway, but you can think you can see that okay, how you have to handle the key that is your own idea should be and then accordingly you can uh, rewrite this code redefine these codes and then you can use it. So, this is about the event handling, this is the start and very beginning of the event handling me mechanisms as I said and more on the things depends on and you can learn much about if you develop many more programs, many more tasks that you have to do it and you can follow it. So, that is all for today, thank you very much.